Join me as I talk to the leading agriculture center in Africa that empowers rural communities by improving their livelihoods through organic farming. Uh, my name is Muyango Mwanza. Muyango Mwanza. Muyango Mwanza. Uh, I work as an extension officer for Kasisi Agriculture Training Center. Okay. So please tell me a little bit more about Kasisi Training Center. Okay. So uh, Kasisi Agriculture Training Center, it's uh, an NGO uh, led by the by the Jesuits. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it's located. Uh, uh, close to the airport, about seven kilometers from the airport, oh. and we are into sustainable organic agriculture. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so uh, as Kasisi, we are mainly uh, focused in key area, six key areas that we are looking at. So we've got the extension department, we've got the the, the training and the research, we've got the production unity, we've got the got the processing and we're also into advocacy and lobbying. Okay. So mainly we work with small scale farmers okay. uh, uh, in Chongwe and Rufunsa and also in other parts of, 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 the, the, of, of Zambia where we are implementing different projects. So like for example in Chongwe we are implementing a project that we are calling Seed and Knowledge Initiative mm. where we are working with small scale farmers just to 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 to, to to, to protect and conserve uh, traditional seeds. Yeah. That's a very interesting aspect. How, how do you conserve traditional seeds? Because I have grown up in cities a lot and usually we buy, if I want to plant something, I have to buy something from other places where they genetically modify the seeds. Okay. So, how do I, like how where do I even find traditional okay traditional uh, to, seeds? To, I think to start with, uh, small scale farmers are the, are the custodians of these local seeds. Okay. So what we've done as an organisation, uh, we are setting up uh, what we are calling household community seed banks. Okay. And in those communities, farmers come together. They keep the seed. They exchange the seed. For example, they can go to to Zari where they can collect maybe uh, the local seed then they go with it to their community and multiply that seed oh, and wow. they start sharing among themselves yeah. yes so as they share they don't just share they share and still keep some which they'll be taking to the community seed bank so I'll give an, uh, another example where for example a farmer goes to the community seed bank and yeah. collects maybe let's say 500 gram of seed uh -huh. and then they go and multiply that when taking back they won't take that 500 gram but what they'll do is they'll take maybe two kg or one kg so that other farmers can also do it can also be able to access that seed okay. so in terms of conserving the seed in terms of multiplying the seed we are doing that through uh, the community seed banks and also we also set up like uh, Demo plots, demonstration plots, where yeah. you can have the diversity of, 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 seed, of seeds just on small portions of land, and when they harvest that seed, they take it to the to the to the seed bank and also multiply it within the communities. All right, I have a question. I, I can see, I can see what is a jar of maize right there. Okay. So would you tell me the a few differences between the traditional seed right there with the seed that I would buy? That's organically made, okay. or that's genetically made. Yeah. So about about these local seeds that you're seeing, uh, these seeds, uh, one, they are, they are drought resistant, and okay. yeah, they're drought resistant, and of course they are healthy seeds because you want they are not like pollinated. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So they are very definitely. good seed, and most of these seeds we, we encourage farmers because it's 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 cheaper in terms of they can recycle them ev every year so they are recyclable they are cheaper so it's it's, it's easier for them to to afford wow, you know for a farmer for a small scale farmer to afford buying it uh, even just a 25 kg bag of seed it's difficult but this seed they can recycle it wow and uh, the harvest in terms of after the recycling is also good so that's why we we encourage them to grow the local seed interesting i've also seen oats here 
Okay. Organic oats. Okay. So, these were made by you, Kasisi. Yeah, so these ones we are calling them Kasisi organic oats. Yeah, so this product, uh, we're making it just right. We grow the oat just there in Kasisi, process it organically. Organically, yeah. Organically, we use uh, compost manure, we use bar fertilizers just to make sure that we grow this. And we've seen this is something that we're doing, and this is grown on the commercial level. Not oh, wow. on a small scale, but on a commercial level. So when people want to buy your oats, where do they find you? So uh, we are supplying uh, we are supplying ShopRite. Farmers, can, people can find it in ShopRite. Uh, even Melissa and these are other stores. But in terms of the big stores around, you find them in ShopRite. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Before we go, I've seen there's a diploma in agroecology. Okay. Can you tell me more about this? Yeah. So uh, when I was setting in, in the introduction, I said Kasisi, we offer trainings. Yes. Yeah, we offer trainings. So we have short trainings that we we, we do at Kasisi, and these trainings they go for for one week. Okay. Okay. So you pay a small amount. Uh, let me say you pay three thousand five hundred. In that money, there's accommodation, meals, and at the end of the training, you receive uh, you receive a certificate. And this training is hands-on training. You okay. do most of the practical just there at Kasisi. So these are the trainings that we, we do. This is in sustainable organic agriculture. Then about the diploma in agroecology, uh, this is a training that we, we are offering at the moment and uh, we are getting the uh, at least someone who, who has a, a certificate in, in maybe in general agriculture. Yeah. Yes, and mostly in the in the beginning we, we targeted government extension officers yeah. so that we can spread the message of True. agroecology. Yeah. Yes, so this one, those with a, with a diplo with a, with a certificate, they are exempted. They don't go for three years. They just do the program for two years. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, at the moment we've already started uh, ignoring the direct entry, like those from from high school. Yes. Yeah, they can come to us and then join uh, in this program. And then we also have another program program that we're calling the Youth Empowerment Program. So every year, Kasisi gets to, 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 to enroll about 15 students. So those students will be based in Kasisi. They'll be doing different types of work yeah. in agroecology, different practical. By the time they are leaving Kasisi, we're making sure that these students are fully uh, baked in agroecology ah, and sustainable. That's a good idea. I love it. I love it. No, thank you so much for your time and for your information. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna. Sure. <laughs>